Hey YouTube, how are you doing today? So we are at Monday evening. Uh, I have about five orders I have to pull today. Uh, I have some uh, items I'm picking up from an online auction on Wednesday. So I think what I'm probably gonna do is uh, I'll pull together what I sold today, what I sold on Tuesday, and what I sold on Wednesday. Put them all in a video, hopefully it won't be too long. Um, but uh, that way, I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm always just doing what's sold videos, which is good. Uh, but I kind of like to have, mix it up and have a little bit more material in there too. So I'm not just giving only what's sold videos. So, uh, so yeah, like I said, I got five items going out today. I'm going to pull those real quick and we're going to get busy. <music> So first item going out, uh, one of my videos I did, I think it was on Thursday or Friday, I sold this uh, knitting swinger or knitting machine for like a kid. Uh, I bought it at a yard sale for $3. Long story short, the lady said, can I pay for it on Monday? And I was like, yeah, sure, no problem, pay for it on Monday. Today, she messaged me, hey, I paid. Yeah, so uh, I checked the PayPal account, nothing, I wait check PayPal again, I make sure to go through, see if I can find her username, nah, she didn't pay. So I message her, hey listen, you need to pay this item today, I'm gonna to open up an unpaid item case uh, for you, I can't hold on to it any longer if you're not gonna pay, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, can I pay for it next month? No. So I told her, no, I'm sorry, I'm gonna cancel this order. Uh, if it's still available in a month, you're more than welcome to buy it again. Uh, but if she doesn't buy it, uh, then I'm just gonna relist it and uh, we're gonna see what happens. So I canceled the order, I relisted it. It sold within two minutes for the full asking price. So I already have it packaged up, but I'll show you the details here. Uh, so we're gonna show a little, that's uh, what I sold for and everything. It's $14.99 plus shipping. Okay, first item is a Funko Pop. So, find it back here there he is I got this at a flea market uh, spider-man bobblehead bombastic bagman so I guess it's spider-man dressed as somebody from Fantastic Four uh, with a bag on his head uh, Walgreens exclusive I paid I think it was three dollars for this I just bought it because I knew the value would be more than $3. Uh, the value on this isn't that much. Uh, I took an offer for it for $7.75. Uh, it's going overseas to somebody, uh, global shipping and everything. So I sold for $7.75 plus shipping. Okay, next item is an R down here. And I sold one of these placemats. So if you're watching one of my videos the other day, um, Gosh, did I post this on YouTube? I don't remember. But this is a retail arbitrage. So I got this at Walmart. I just was walking by. They have these little placemats here. They had them priced for right under $2. I want to say it was like $186 or some kind of weird price. I was like, man, that's kind of cheap for like a Minecraft, you know, placemat. Now, it's not very thick or anything. But, I mean, it's got that decent, that Zach brand. It's BPA-free. Uh, it's got the big creeper on it. So it's like, you know what, I'll pick it up and see what happens. So I had already sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And I, oh, knock on my boxes now. And there they are right down here in the corner. So I got these. And uh, so yeah, I got these. This was included in uh, one of those miscellaneous auctions that I got. I was basically buying uh, this Billy Bass, that fish that you stick on the wall and it sings when you wave at it or whatever. Uh, but it came with a whole bunch of other stuff, like a tractor cap, uh, one of those little union pin caps. If you're watching my videos, you I've talked about this stuff before. Uh, so. Uh, but yeah, I was like, you know what? This is just one of those things. I'm going to go ahead and list them and see what happens. So I went and listed. Uh, they're kind of neat. Bottle openers. One says Lucky and Easy on it. Uh, but the other one's uh, Falstaff Brewing Company uh, from St. Louis. So they're kind of vintage bottle openers. Uh, but I listed them and they sold for $4.69 plus shipping. 
Okay, then we're heading over here to B B. And I sold a Wii U game. It's this one. Alright. So if you're watching uh staying up with my videos, I posted this a few weeks ago. I got it at a yard sale. There's a kid selling his stuff. I bought some stuff. It was actually that sewing machine thing, that same yard sale that I just uh, showed in this video. I uh, bought his sister's stuff, and I was walking by, like, you know what? I'll go ahead and purchase a couple of his games, and I kind of felt bad. So, because he had a price of three bucks a piece, and I thought, man, that's probably what they're going to sell for. But actually, this game is worth a little bit more on eBay. Uh, this one sold for $15 plus shipping. Hey, look what I just figured out. So, a lot of times when you're packaging stuff, sometimes you got to get creative. Uh, in the reseller game, you heard, you heard me bring it up before. Uh, if you kind of have to custom fit a box to make it do something, we kind of call that a Franken box. You know, like the whole Frankenstein thing, piecing together for a monster. Well, sometimes you piece something together for a package, and we call that a Franken box. This isn't exactly a Franken box, but I'm like, man, I'm like, how am I gonna, how am I gonna ship this thing? And I'm like, I, I don't want them to do. I was pretty much planning on how I do like vinyl records, just kind of two pieces of cardboard together. I want to ship this. I don't want it to bend. I don't want it to crease. I want the customer to get it just like that. Okay. I have these 12 by six by six boxes that I got from eBay, uh, courtesy of their discount they give me for shipping supplies. So free box. This is exactly the size of the box. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slide that bad boy in there like an envelope. Oh, she's a tight fit. She's a tight fit. I might have to cut the end. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Oh no, no, I don't think I need to. I don't. Holy cow, it's, it, it's perfectly, perfectly. Can you believe that? Look at that, perfect. So I'm just gonna tape up the ends like this, I might stick something in there. So this isn't exposed right here. I don't want that to be exposed. Uh, I've got scrap pieces of cardboard I'm gonna stick in there or maybe uh, just a piece of paper or something. Uh, but I don't want that to be exposed. So we're gonna do that, but look at that, perfect, perfect. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that, ladies and gentlemen. That's great news. All right, so continue on. Hey, how you doing? So. Uh, we're at Wednesday now. Uh, I gotta go pick up some items from an online auction again. Uh, like I said in some of my past videos, the same auction house is basically having uh, auctions every week now for a little while. Uh, sometimes they're having some pretty good stuff that I like, and other times not so much. Uh, but I did pick up some pretty good items, I think, uh, at this uh, latest auction. Uh, and of course, I'll make sure to show you guys once we get them all back home. I have one particular item uh, that I got for $7. Um, I won't say what it is yet, but it didn't have any cords to come with, and it's an electric, uh, an electronic item. It didn't have any cords to come with it, and it said it wasn't tested, but it looked brand new, basically, and it still had the box. Uh, this particular item with the box sells between $200 and $300. So, Having said that, uh, I think I have a cord at home that I can make sure it works. I hope it does and powers on, and I think I'll be able to sell it for some pretty good money. And I'm pretty excited about that. The other thing that's been happening to me this week, which is a little frustrating, uh, is I've had four different sales, uh, and I'm like, you know, they go about a day or so, like waiting for the payment or them to pay me, and they say they want to cancel the order. This has happened to me four different times in like the past three days. And uh, that's a little frustrating, obviously, because when they commit to buy and to buy this item, it's like it ties it up from anybody else buying the item. So it's basically taken from eBay. Nobody else can buy it anymore. Now I'm waiting for this person to pay. A couple days later or whatever, then they finally say, oh, sorry, one person told me in Spanish, which I had to translate it basically, uh, that they wanted to cancel. So I answered it back. In Spanish, uh, that we uh, that I canceled and refunded, which is fine. Another person said that they were going to pay, and then they said that they did pay, 
which I already explained in this video, and they said they want to pay next month. That's not going to happen. Cancel that one. Uh, then I had a third one that I was waiting to, for somebody to pay, and then they said, oh, sorry, I was uh, scrolling in my sleep, I guess. I don't know. I didn't mean to hit the buy button. Yeah, sorry. Can you just cancel this? Okay, sure. Canceled it. Relisted it and everything. And then the fourth one today was the guy said, oh, I didn't see the shipping was that much. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want it. All right. <laughs> so we canceled that one too. I mean, I don't know. Whenever I'm buying something online, I'm pretty sure that I take a good look at everything that I'm paying for. That's just me. Okay, we're Wednesday. I got home from getting the items from online auction, which I'm gonna show you in a second. And I sold this flip number vintage alarm clock radio. So I got this at an estate sale this past weekend. I paid $4 for it. These do really good on eBay. I always try to pick them up whenever I see them. This sold for $35 plus shipping and it's going overseas to somebody in the United Kingdom. Okay, here's the stuff we got from the online auction. I'm going to go through here and I'll explain everything, what I paid for and what I expect to get and what I know so far as for sold comps and everything on some of these items. Uh, but let's start with this stuff here. So this was, uh, they kind of described this as like a miscellaneous lot. Sometimes these miscellaneous lots, they do pretty good. Uh, let's see here. But I bought it because they had two cameras, uh, which, I mean, there's, there's a Kodak, like point and shoot. That's a point and shoot. I don't know what brand it is. Uh, and then these vacuum cleaner bags, there's two of them. There's these printer cartridges. Uh, even if they're out of date, they still sell pretty well. Uh, but all this stuff here with that American flag and that train, I used to have a train like that when I was a kid. You put oil in it and like smoke comes out. I don't know if it works or anything, but uh, so, but all this stuff right here uh, was only five bucks. So yeah, I mean, I'll definitely make my money back. I mean, sell one of those printer cartridges. I know I'll make my money back. Uh, those vacuum bags were going three for like $13.99 on eBay. So I'm probably do two of them for $9.99. Uh, I'm probably gonna keep the flag. I'm probably just hanging up somewhere down here. Uh, there's a world clock. Uh, I don't know if it works. I might just end up keeping that. I don't know if that's worth anything, but we'll see. Then move on here. We got a bunch of these hats. Uh, so these vintage hats. I uh, only paid three dollars for all of these hats. So we've got these kind of floppy f uh, fisherman hat here. Uh, let's see. We got. Is my light on? Yeah, it is. Okay. So what kind is this? Yeah, bass or something, I don't know. So, we've got these floppy hats, we got some old, this is Native Pride hat, we got, looks like a company that somebody worked for. Uh, McDonald Douglas hats are down here. There's another one somewhere. And, I thought this was kind of unique. Damn Pittsburgh Pigeons, and it's got fake poop on it. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, I should be able to get my money back, no problem, on those hats. And all right, so moving along here, we got these old guys, and they weigh a ton. Uh, so we got, they were described as vintage adding machines. So I looked a couple of them up on eBay, uh, and they sell for about 40, 50 bucks a piece. This one here, I think, would go for a little bit more, but obviously I'm going to clean them up, make them look nice, as nice as I possibly can. Probably ship them in a flat rate right box, a big one. Uh, and see how they do. But for all these uh, adding machines, uh, I only paid $8 for, uh, for all three of those. So that was a pretty good deal. We got this Crosley heater back here. I thought it was an older metal one, but it's actually not metal, it's plastic. Uh, but still, only paid three bucks for that heater. Works and tested, they say. Uh, and then the item that I thought hopefully will go pretty well was this HD receiver that's a falco ip hd network video recorder uh no cords no instructions not tested they said only paid seven dollars for that i saw other video recorders on ebay going for two to three hundred uh some other ones were going like 50 60 75 uh nevertheless i only paid seven dollars for it uh, i've got the box so i'll test it hopefully it powers on and we'll go from there all right then last item was these bad boys <laughs> so i got my work cut out for me for sure 
uh, with these flat top cans. I still have some of the last uh, flat top cans that I got from an online auction. Uh, the last online lot, I paid a little over $6 for like 48 cans. So I was into them for like 13 cents a piece. I've sold probably half of them. Uh, and I sell them for about two for six ninety nine, dollars uh, or two for five ninety nine, two for three ninety nine. I've sold single cans for six ninety nine, so yeah, I've already made my money back on those. But the reason why I got these were because there's a bunch of Budweiser ones in them. So um, the Budweiser ones sold the quickest, the fastest. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock them up uh, instead of doing one can or two cans together. I'll probably do like ten cans in a lot and sell them a little bit quicker that way. Uh, but I counted that first top row, not those, and there was like 63, and there's cans underneath them. So this box probably has over 100 cans in it, and you're not gonna believe what I paid for them all. It was seven bucks. So yeah, $7 for all these cans, over 100 cans. Uh, yeah, I mean, your math wizards out there, I don't know how much that is. What is that? I don't know if I've got 120 oh heck I'm not even gonna try to figure it out right now so yeah seven bucks for all these cans I'll make my money back after I sell probably two or three cans you know I could sell two cans for 6.99 no problem so yeah there are some pretty cool ones in here a lot of Budweiser ones this one looked like brand new Schmidt beer some other flavors that I've never heard of in here some old flavors so there's some good ones like Stag and Paps and Bush, but the Budweiser ones, I know they're gonna sell pretty good. So that's it. That's what I got from the auction hall. Total amount spent was $37.95. That's with taxes and everything. I will have no problem making my money back on that. All right, so that's all I have for you today. Uh, real quick, I wanna give you guys an update on uh, something I was talking about in one of my videos. Uh, a while back, I was talking about how much every time I've used the pickup option from Walmart, uh, how basically terrible it was. So I've never had a good experience with it. I have yet to have a good experience with it. And I just thought it was funny that today I got an email from Walmart. And right here, uh, I'll show you, but it was confirming that I picked up my item. I thought, wow, that's very nice of you, Walmart, to send me an email uh, confirming that yes, I picked up the item that I purchased three weeks ago, Walmart. Great job, guys. Hey, stay on top of it, kids. You'll get it. You'll get it one day, that customer service thing. Oh my gosh, you're nailing it. A little late, but better late than never, guys. Keep up the good work. Hey, that's all I have for you today, guys, all right? so. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.